Hello and thank you for watching. I'm Ashley Van Dyke with Advantage Software, and on today's video, Timed Edit Delay, I'm going to show you a new feature in Eclipse 11 that allows you to delay your output based on time rather than the number of words. For this demonstration, I'm going to use voice writing. This new feature is found in your user settings in the Real Time tab. In the lower left-hand corner of the settings window, there's an Edit Buffer option. Previously, this said edit word buffer, and you could select a number of words greater than zero to hold in the buffer. These words would be held from your output until you either wrote more words, which excluded them from the word buffer, or until you manually flushed the buffer. Now, however, though, there's also a millisecond setting for your buffer. This means that Eclipse will wait this many milliseconds before sending your output to the real-time output. And so this can be set anywhere from 0 to 60,000, which is 60 seconds. This is going to be especially helpful for real-time captioners. If you work with your client to get access to the live feed rather than a delayed feed, you can use this setting to match your delay with theirs. And this will give you time to ensure that your captions are absolutely perfect before they go on air. For this demonstration, I'm going to set this to 10 seconds or 10,000 milliseconds. And in the top right, you see I have a closed captioning output and a cart window output. However, this will affect any of your outputs, including Bridge Mobile. I'm going to start a real-time file. I'll select my voice users, since for this example, I am going to use voice writing. My real-time file is open. And I'm ready to begin dictating and transcribing into Eclipse, and then outputting after a 10-second delay to my cart window and my closed caption preview window. So I'm going to turn my microphone on and start dictating. Keek, what is your name? Kak, my name is Ashley Van Dyke. Keek, where do you work? Kak, I work for Vantage Software. And here you see that the flush is expiring after 10 seconds. Everything that has been written within the last 10 seconds is in gray and is not being sent out to the output, giving me an option to edit this text. The longer the delay is, the more time you'll have to edit the text before it goes to your output. And of course, you can always use your flush command, which, on, which for me is a voice utterance that I've defined as flush mac. And you see that as soon as Eclipse processes that flush mac command, my buffer automatically processes and goes out to the window. Keek, what is your name? Kak, my name is Ashley Van Dyke. Keek, where do you work? Kak, I work for Advantage Software Flush Mac. And so as soon as Eclipse processes my flush command, the buffer is cleared, just like the old buffer that worked by Word. However, this buffer works on time instead. And using this buffer gives you the opportunity to make any changes that you need to in order to perfect your real-time output before it goes out. As an example, I've put some text here, and you'll see that that text will appear in my real-time output. And previously, that wouldn't have been possible especially for captioning outputs where apply edits isn't a functional command. And you see that after 10 seconds, my buffer continued to flush out and everything came out on my output. And so you can use this new setting found under user settings, real time in the bottom left in order to delay your output and give yourself time to make sure that it's perfect. And again, this setting operates in milliseconds while the original edit buffer on the left operated by number of words. The difference is important, and you may want to practice with both to see which you prefer. Don't forget that Advantage Software offers anytime support. Tech support is available anytime, including weekends and holidays, at 772-288-3266. Email support is also available at support at eclipsecat.com. Thanks for watching this video. Please hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications so that you'll be notified when we publish new content in the future. Thank you so much and have a great day.